Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to kick off a new series that I'm going to be doing and it's basically the best at the drugstore. So I'm going to break down a category. Today we're going to be doing concealers and I'm just going to tell you what I think are the best at the drugstore right now because there's always makeup coming out so this list will always change and there are products that I haven't tried so if I haven't tried them they're definitely not on this list but these are products that I've tried that I think are definitely worth your money at the drugstore every month we're going to tackle a different category and I'm going to tell you what I think are the top products in that category at the drugstore right now so without further ado if you want to see what I think are the top concealers at the drugstore then keep on watching to like define the drugstore these days because like when I think Ulta I think drugstore but Ulta isn't actually a drugstore if you think about it they don't sell drugs there but they have a drugstore side and it's just a term referencing a price point so I say drugstore but you know what I mean it's just affordable makeup obviously Morphe isn't drugstore but it's affordable so like Morphe would be in the category as far as I'm concerned we're gonna tackle concealers today and I'm going to in no particular order just pull stuff out and we're gonna talk about it so I wrote down a few notes on some of the concealers just so that I could remember because I basically I wore one of them every day for a week just to remind myself of the qualities that I liked on each concealer so the first one I want to talk about is the wet n wild photo focus concealer I have loved this concealer forever and ever. It's $5 and it is the best $5 you'll ever spend. In my opinion, it looks the same on my skin as Shape Tape. I did a video a long time ago comparing them side by side and they just, it was uncanny. They looked the same. They don't, their texture isn't the same. Um, I think Shape Tape is much more pasty and this is much more creamy. But it definitely gives a great amount of coverage and it looks beautiful on the skin. I mean, considering the price point, this is like my top favorite concealer. For the simple fact that it is five bucks and it looks flawless on the skin. Now, I do want to say that I believe that every concealer creases on some level. If you have lines for it to fall into, it's going to do that. There are obviously things that you can do to prevent creasing, like setting, and I definitely find that some concealers crease more than others, but you're always going to have product in those lines if you have lines there, and most all of us do. So, I mean, I have the Fenty concealer on right now, so I don't even have a drugstore concealer on, but of course I can see that it's in my lines because I have lines. The best... Thing I can tell you is if you only when you're applying the product don't apply it in this area only apply it up to here and blend it into the area and that's going to make sure there's less product in the area so it's less creasing that said I really don't want to talk about creasing too much because all of these are the best so if anything was super creasy it wouldn't be on this list so this is a top pick you cannot go wrong with this I think that five bucks the next one I want to talk about is the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour everyone talked about this as a tart shape tape dupe now it I think it gives the vibes it definitely gives the vibes is it a dupe? I don't think it's a, it's not an exact dupe. It's not like a uncanny, flawless formula dupe. No, I don't think so. I don't think it has quite as much coverage as Tarte. And I think that the texture is a little bit different. I think that this one is actually creamier than the Tarte. I think Tarte is a little more pasty. That said, it does have a very similar doe foot, um, and so it does give the vibes, but actually I kind of like this one a little bit more because it's a little bit more hydrating than the Tarte. For me, Tarte is just a little too dry. I haven't used it in a long time. I should revisit it because your skin's always changing, so that could be different on me now, but 
I just remember I got to a point where the shape tape was just too dry on me. Um, I like this one. I think it, it looks beautiful on the skin. And yeah, it gives the Tarte vibes without the dryness and without the price tag. Okay, the next one I want to talk about, I don't hear a lot of people talking too much about. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer. I actually really like this one. It has an interesting doe foot. It's kind of like a teardrop shape. And this one here is very similar to Shape Tape, in my opinion. Um, it's thick like Shape Tape, but it's not drying in its very long wear. Like this concealer, if I put this on, it's not going anywhere. It's staying right where it is. And I really like that about it. It's very full coverage. The doe foot is big, but it's not as big as the Makeup Revolution one or the Shape Tape one. It's not as skinny as a normal doe foot, but it's not as big as one of those, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think that it looks beautiful on the skin and it is matte, full coverage, and long wear. The next one I want to talk about, I also haven't heard a lot of people talk about, and this one I think is like, awesome and this is the l'oreal true match super blendable concealer this applicator gives me maybelline instant age rewind vibe so this is a dark font and this is this color i use for contouring but it has a little thing and you turn it and then the product comes up through this little fuzzy side this concealer is so freaking creamy it's one of the creamiest concealers i've ever ever used and i mean look at how smooth it is it's so so beautiful it blends out so good it gives great coverage i would say it's like medium to full so you could like build it to full but it doesn't come straight out of the gate full it's definitely a medium coverage but i think the finish is freaking stunning let me show you a color that is I use for actual concealer it's like velvet it's definitely on the matte side um, but like compared to the others like it's velvet it that's what it looks like it's so beautiful the one downside to this product in my opinion is it's tiny. You only get 0 0.05 fluid ounces in this. And it isn't cheap. It's like $12. The Makeup Revolution in comparison is 0.14 ounces. So you get twice as much product. The Revlon one is 0.34 ounces. Wet n Wild is 0.29. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's hardly any product in this at all. So if there's one thing I could say, L'Oreal, you need to put more product in this because maybe that's why people don't talk about it because like you're literally out of this. I'll apply it, like I think this one here, you can see is almost gone and I've probably used it like a handful of times. That kind of sucks about it. And it's too bad because this the product is stunning. It's amazing. And then lastly, I want to talk about kind of a newer concealer to me, and that is the Full Spectrum All Day Idol Brightening Concealer from CoverGirl. This concealer gives me NARS Radiant Creamy vibes. Like, it's real similar. First of all, the packaging is very similar, and the doe foot is the same, and the product is very, very similar. So that is the color that I have. I will say this, the color is off a little bit, I think. This one that I have here is, they don't ever have the colors on the packaging with CoverGirl and it drives me batshit crazy. But this is like medium light and it is not, look at that. This is way too dark for me. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that since filming this, I realized that the full spectrum line from CoverGirl is meant for girls with darker skin tones. That's why the colors are skewed a little darker. So I just wanted to give you that heads up. That said, I did use it one day because I just wanted to see and it's beautiful. 
It lasts a long time. It gives great coverage. I'd say medium to full. I just add in some of this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer to like brighten it up. I used this just for like the coverage and then I brightened it with this one. Um, and this one is like pretty sheer so it didn't really change much about it but I love this one. It's really, really nice. I definitely need to get my shade in it but as far as formula goes, I think this one is awesome and I think that if you like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, you will love this one. I'd like to test that as a dupe because it might be pretty darn close, but I haven't tested it, so don't mark my words on that. Okay, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I would like to hear your thoughts on these concealers. Have you tried any of these? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are there other concealers that you think should be on the list that maybe I haven't tried that I should try? I will say that I'm in the process of testing the Catrice Camouflage, I think it's called, concealer. <sighs> I tried it one day, just one day, and I wasn't a fan. But that said, my skin's going through something right now where it's like way drier than usual. So I have to kind of examine my skincare for a minute before I really judge the concealer. But um, I am testing that one, um, but I'm definitely open to trying others. Obviously, I've tried the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. That's an oldie, so I didn't really bring it in to this um, because I like it, but it's not my favorite. Like, I definitely like the Wet n Wild more, so I did bring that one into this video. But um, any other, especially newer concealers that I may not have tried yet, definitely let me know if there are some that you recommend. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a video. I gotta pull my shirt up because it's falling off. Don't forget to follow me on social. My handle's at Glam Latte and the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and CastBox. All the details are in the description box down below. So make sure you're following us over there. We have so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.